Hello friends, family, and internet strangers! Stephanie here with part three. I don't know what part it is, it's been a long few days. Part something of my cross-country road trip. I'll figure out the number once I get to editing. I have made it to the point where I am going to be mainly driving from here on forward. I do not have that many stops other than overnight stops, and even those, they're not planned at the moment. I'll drive until I'm tired. I have an idea of where there are Marriott's, what cities. I have goals of where I would like to be each day, but usually when I get around dinner time, I can figure out kind of where I can realistically make it to, and I make my hotel reservations same day. So these next few days are probably going to be a lot of random ramblings from gas stations and drive-throughs and all that fun stuff, so buckle in. First random rambling. I don't know if this is something only I do. Leave me a comment if you do this as well. Does anyone else have a highway buddy when they're on the road? I don't mean a friend that you're driving with. I mean someone that is going about the same speed as you, in the same direction as you for several hours, and they just kind of become your road buddy. You pass the same trucks, you go around the same speed, and then eventually you get separated and I always get sad when that happens. Does anyone else do that? I had a purple Chevrolet with a woman in about her 60s that we were just in the same area for a good hour and a half today between Georgia and Alabama. And then I lost her when I switched highways and I kind of just waved out the window. I don't know that she saw that. The other person probably does not put as much thought into this as I do, but this is what happens when you drive long, long drives. I don't mean someone following you in a creepy way. If you think someone is following you, um, pull into the slow lane, go slow and see if they pass you. If they do not pass you when you start going real slow, they're following you and you should probably like try and lose them. I just looked in a mirror at a restroom in Arkansas and I was like, holy humidity, the hair. I like to drive with my windows down and it's been raining. This is probably the wrong time of month to be on a road trip because every food I see, I'm like, yes, now I want that. Oh, but now I want that. This gas station I just stopped at is also a donut shop and it smelled so good in that bathroom, which is such a weird thing to say, but it smelled like donuts in the bathroom and now I want donuts, but I'm getting tacos instead. Also, the place I'm going for dinner is like 0.2 miles away, so I'm not bothering taking this mask off. This one goes all the way around under the ponytail and it's a whole process. I was already very excited for my Taco John's and then I heard the lady at the drive-thru in front of me order Mexican donut bites. I didn't know that was a thing here, so now I can get tacos and donuts. I'm so happy. Look at those donut bites. They're hot and melty and they look so good. They forgot my cheese sauce and the whole point of Taco John's really is the cheese sauce, isn't it? I had to loop back around the drive-through because their dining room's not open and while I was waiting for the person in front of me to get their food, I pretty much devoured <laughs> those donut bites. There's the glorious cheese sauce with the potatoes. I don't know what is so special about these, but they're amazing. And I also got the street tacos. I moved ahead of schedule today not really ahead of schedule. I moved on schedule, which was ahead of schedule for the way my past trips have gone. So I'm only about a little over an hour away from Fort Smith. That was the goal for where I plan on getting tonight. But I still have a lot of energy. So I'm looking at the Marriott Bombay app to see where the nearest Marriott is after that along the highway. But it's not for another three and a half hours, and I don't know that I have that much energy. So I think we're going to Fort Smith and calling it an early night. I'm sure I could find other hotels somewhere in there, but I have been staying exclusively at Marriott's ever since the pandemic started. I like to be careful, and I trust that they're clean. Also, I have a Marriott credit card now, so I get extra points when I stay at Marriott's, and also I could use points for the stay if I wanted to. Gosh, it's time to hit the road. 
I made it to my hotel and as I was driving up, I was like, oh, this one looks exactly the same as the one I stayed at in Oklahoma last time. And then I pulled into the parking lot and I parked and I'm like, this is even like the exact same spot I parked in in the parking lot. Am I even at the right location? And then I walked in and I know chains are supposed to look similar, but this one is exactly the same as the one in Oklahoma that I stayed at on the last trip. Good morning, day five of the trip. I am again ahead of schedule. I planned on sleeping in a little bit today, or at least attempting to. My attempt failed. I set my alarm for 9.30 because I went to bed around 1.15-ish. I ended up waking up at 7.15, couldn't get back to sleep, but I laid in bed, made a playlist for the day, and now I'm leaving the hotel at the time that I would have woken up. I could have taken the time to get ready, but I didn't. I threw my hair up in a ponytail as per usual, and today I'm not even getting out of my pajama pants. They matched the shirt that I plan on wearing today, and they're essentially sweatpants, so I was like, eh, why not just stay in the comfy pajama pants for 12 hours in the car? They even matched the mask I planned on wearing today. I am in Oklahoma City for lunch. I knew I'd be in this area around lunchtime, so I searched to see if there were any places from diners, drive-ins, and dives in this area. There were a lot of places on the website that I go to usually to find those, but one of them in particular on the website stuck out for me, and that was because of the name. When I looked into it, I couldn't really find anything saying that it had actually been on the show. It was just listed on that website. I couldn't find an episode number or anything like that, so I don't know if maybe they have filmed it and it hasn't aired, or if maybe the people on that website just thought it should be on the show. I don't know, but either way, I stopped at Honey Bunny Biscuit Company. I had to go there, even if it wasn't on the show, just because my mother loves to call me Honey Bunny. She has a lot of nicknames for me, but Honey Bunny is one of the ones that comes up fairly frequently. I ordered the chicken pot pie bowl, and as per usual, I got it to go to eat in the car. And since I got it to go, they did it separately. I think if you eat it there, it's all in a bowl together, but I like that they did this so it doesn't get soggy. I dumped all of the pot pie stuff on top of the biscuit. It looks so good. It is so good. It's really good. It was so good I went back in for dessert. I got a strawberries and cream biscuit. Today is a good day. It is beautiful outside, it is sunny, it is perfect driving weather. I got really yummy food, but also I got a phone call while I was driving. I made this trip a few weeks earlier than I originally planned because I had gotten notification that I would be going back to work soon. But I got a call today that I am going back sooner than expected, so I'm really glad I came home early and now it's just really good to know officially and have that official start date, I am going back to work and I am so happy. <laughs> I've stopped in Albuquerque for the night. Tomorrow is the last day of the trip. I am ready to get back to Burbank. Today I drove about 11 hours or so. Tomorrow I've got another 11 and then that's it. I am about to check out of the hotel. Somewhere in between Arkansas and New Mexico, I hit the next 
status level with Marriott. So that was nice when I got here last night. They were like, oh, thank you for being Gold Elite. Here's a free drink coupon. Grab anything from the cooler. So I'm going to grab a drink on my way out. I checked out at the hotel. I got my free Diet Coke here. Going in the cooler behind me. This worked out perfectly. I'm on my last Clorox wipe, although I do have another package of them. But now I can just throw this one away. Getting everything sanitized. And my plan for the day is really just to drive home. It's about 11 hours. I plan on stopping for lunch around 12.30. I know there's a Culver's in Flagstaff, so maybe I'll stop there. And other than that, I'm gonna hit up a grocery store when I get close to Burbank because I'll be going straight into quarantine once I get home. And that's that plan for the day. driving through New Mexico. I love driving through New Mexico. New Mexico, Utah, and Arizona are the most beautiful states to drive through, in my opinion. I haven't been to all of the states, but of the ones I've been to, those are the ones that I like driving through the most. One of my favorite things, though, about New Mexico, the signs for road work remind me of parents. Because every time you have to merge, there's a sign that says, take turns. Like it's a little reminder, don't forget, take turns merging. Take turns with the toy, don't hit each other. Now I am in Flagstaff, Arizona. I am stopped for lunch. I am getting Culver's, which we don't have in LA or in New York. I got a burger and a shake. Now I'm just staring at all my stuff on the floor, thinking, well, I'm in quarantine for at least seven days, so that can be tomorrow's problem. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more content. I still have new cooking videos coming out every Sunday, but if you have an idea for something you'd like to see for new midweek videos now that I won't be traveling, leave a comment below. Let me know.